Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you for taking time out of your afternoon for this event. Uh, I'll try not to uh, take up too much of your time, especially considering that at least in San Francisco, it's pretty nice. So hopefully it is in much of the rest of California. Uh, so as Theo mentioned, uh, I am the current chairperson of the California National Party. Uh, I've served with the party uh, for about five years now. And ever since we found out that the recall is coming, we have decided that this is the moment when we need to go out and get this message to California that the two-party system is no longer going to be able to serve the people of California or to fix our problems. Regardless of how you think about this recall, whether you're in favor of the recall, whether you oppose the recall, it is definitely a sign that this system that we have right now is not working. And especially as we look at the media around California, around the United States and around the globe, this recall election itself has become a kind of chaotic punchline to what California politics has become. And we need to find a way to break out of that. So the purpose of this candidacy and the purpose of the California National Party, broadly speaking, is to bring a new vision of politics to California, a politics that will serve us and not the two-party federal system, which continues to treat us as if we're some mere adjunct to the United States. We are sitting here in a land of 40 million people with the world's fifth largest economy, and apparently the best we can do is Mary Carey, Caitlyn Jenner, and John Cox. This is not an auspicious leadership for such an important global power. What we need to do is begin thinking about California in terms of a real nation, in terms of a place where we have to think about how to solve our own problems instead of expecting solutions to come from outside. So this campaign is going to be partially about the fact that California politics is broken. And the only thing that is going to fix it is breaking out of this two-party system. But beyond that, we have, of course, the problems that are facing California as we enter this new decade. And especially in this last pandemic year, as we've seen, how little we can rely on even the California government to necessarily care for its people in times of hardship. So some of the central themes of my campaign are going to be based on events that we have all witnessed here in the last year. The need for things like universal basic income on a monthly basis, a negative income tax system that replaces our current inefficient and expensive social safety net system and gets money to the people who need it when they need it. Automatic enrollment for all residents in Medi-Cal, which will allow all of us to have access to health care, regardless of what is happening in the rest of the world. Along with this, the California National Party and my campaign is geared toward a respect for the complexity and diversity of California. We are a large and complex place, and the idea that a single solution can bring the answers we need to all parts of California is simply not feasible. And so another big part of the California National Party in my own campaign is the recognition that different regions of California will require different solutions produced by representatives who are directly accountable to that electorate. So we also favor the strengthening of local governments, reform of board of supervisors when necessary, an expansion of regional, city, and county governments, and putting more in the hands of those locally accounted officials, such as, for example, a county-based gun regulation and registration system, similar to what we have with the DMV now for automobiles and driving skills. Reduction of the California-wide gas tax, which is inherently regressive, and in fact causes an undue burden on many Californians who are in fact on the lowest economic strata. Things like setting school hours, a bill that was actually vetoed by former Governor Jerry Brown, setting aside the idea that Sacramento should be able to determine the way California behaves. And so this is part of this necessary rebirth of California politics a politics that will actually take California seriously, not simply as a staging ground for running for further federal office, 
not simply as a PR campaign for your Instagram followers, but seeing that California is in trouble and nobody is going to fix California except for us. No answers, no solutions are going to come from outside. And the further that we, the California people, continue to think of ourselves as merely an adjunct to American politics, the longer we will be unable to solve our problem. The longer we won't be focusing on what's happening in our own backyard while we stamp our feet and scream about battles taking place 3,000 miles away. And so I ask everybody who is here today, I ask everybody who is listening to begin taking California seriously, to recognize the idea that it's time for us to define ourselves with our own party, with our own identity, with our own politics. And so I ask you and everyone else in California to join me and the California National Party in helping to build a better California together.